Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Street Smile Solutions, streetsmilesolutions.com, and today we're going to talk about growing jaws specifically um, and how to grow jaws. And can you grow jaws with braces or do you need to grow jaws with an appliance or Invisalign? And this is a great question, and I think there is a lot of misconceptions. Now, for example, in this case, we're going to get class two correction just by closing some of these spaces up, but that's not growing jaws, right? So how do we grow jaws? Well, if the patient is, is, hasn't finished growing yet, you still have the potential to grow a little jaw. Of course, you wanna take a Seth and see if that's needed. I mean, usually you can look at the profile of the patient and you can tell it's needed. So um, how can you grow jaws? Well, we've been growing jaws for almost 100 years now, you know, um, in the US and Europe and other countries. It's really easy, you just position the jaw forward. Um, it works way better when you do it 24 hours a day than if you just do it at night. Um, it just works faster. I've just seen so many cases. Um, that would be my preference. And that's really the basis of how Invisalign came up with their whole MA feature, which initially I kind of, you know, I was like, I don't know if this is going to work. But now that I've seen a lot of cases, it really does work. And the nice thing about it is that you can align and grow the jaw at the same time. But sometimes that is not a possibility for the patient. Maybe, maybe you're just, like I said, you, you have to push through with Invisalign, get over that whole $1,900 lab fee or whatever up front because once you do enough cases and you start getting the volume discount and you realize how much chair time and stuff it saves, you know, in comparison to braces at least, you're going to push through it. But let's say you've got like a seven-year-old and sure, you can do Invisalign first with MA, but the lab fee is about $1,300 and you're like, oh, why would I want to do that when I can do something like a Bionator or a Twin Block, which works exactly the same if the only thing that you really needed was to grow a jaw, then why not, right? It's going to be a lot cheaper. Lab fees are going to be $200, $300 instead of $1,300. So you can offer at a lower cost. And I think the hard thing is a lot of people are, you know, contracted with insurance and they're only getting like maybe $1,500 for that phase one case. Well, why would you even offer Invisalign with MA if you're going to basically be losing money on the case, right? So I can, I can see your point. In that case, I would say consider some type of appliance that's worn full time, you know, um, it's worn full time, but it will help to grow the jaw. But to answer your question, no, braces do not grow jaws. There's nothing about braces that grow jaws. Elastics do not grow jaws. All they do is tip teeth to help minimize um, a class two correction. They don't grow the lower jaw. The strength of, you know, that six ounces on each side of an elastic at most is not going to grow a jaw. It's not at all enough the right amount of strength to move the jaw actually forward and keep it in a forward position so that your jaw growth is stimulated. So if you wanna grow a jaw, there's a couple of things you need to do. Of course, find out in the Ceph how much you need to grow it, make sure that's the right treatment plan, but you need to have an appliance like the MA Invisalign or a Bionator or a Twin Block or an Activator or a Herbs, but Herbs is not the best. So yeah, okay, you could do braces with a Herbs that would grow a jaw conceivably, but it's such a terrible patient experience. I don't know why you'd want to do one of these jumpers or Herbs when you could just do Invisalign with MA, which is like so much better. And if you think about all the emergency appointments you're going to end up having with it, you're, the value and the, the overhead time is going to be so expensive that you might as well just do the Invisalign with MA. But anyways, this is, like I said, I don't at all drink the Invisalign Kool-Aid. I just know it works and I think it's easy. So that's all I'm saying. All right. Thanks.